So here's a quick tutorial on Dot2 3D setup, a quick walkthrough of the different tools we have to set up your fixtures in a 3D environment so that you can pre-visualize. So starting from scratch, I'm going to patch some fixtures. We'll go with Mythos. I'll give myself uh, 20 of these guys. We'll start fixture one. Um, so first off, you're going to have to be in session with your 3D software. And to do that, um, have both applications running at the same time. And if they're running on the same computer, then you'll know, need to go into your network interface and choose loopback. What this does, after you choose that, is going to make you restart the software again in 3D. Make sure that in File, Settings, Network, it is using the loopback. Okay, and restart the software. Because I'm using the same computer, they need to network with each other internally, and therefore they use the loopback IP address. So if I go into setup, I'll go to sessions, I'm going to stop and create a session. We'll do a new session. I'm going to add a device, so I'll just click the add button here, and then I'll choose my 3D application. Great, now when I get a green heart like so, that means they're both in session and they're talking to each other. So if I grab my fixtures here, you notice that I'll get a red for the x-axis, a blue arrow for the uh, y-axis, and a green arrow for the z-axis. So all I have to do is left click and drag one of these arrows to move my fixtures in the space. So first off, I'm really just going to grab fixtures 1 through 10. I'll drag these up, uh, and they'll be my hung fixtures. If I want to move my camera so I can see in a different angle, I could either hit the space bar, which will change the camera, or if I click in on the mouse wheel, I can hold and scroll. You can change through different cameras. So let's stick with front. And if I right click and move my mouse, I'll right click and hold, move my mouse, that also helps me move the camera. You'll notice camera movement options in the top left corner here. Um, and if I scroll down, I can change how I move my camera. So I'm panning, scroll down, I can orbit, scroll down, I can zoom. So I'm going to move, I'm going to pan. Oops. Zoom real quick, pan. Okay, there we go. I'm going to reselect my fixtures. And notice when I left click and hold the arrow, I get an align mode pop up. If I scroll down, I can choose a different align mode. And now if I click and drag, it's going to align the position of those fixtures and basically according them out so that they were as if they were on that truss. Okay, I will select my other fixtures. I'm going to have these fixtures live on the ground, so I need to rotate them. The way I can do that is here with the properties window. You have a rotation column. And I'm going to rotate on the y axis 180 degrees. Now, I guess I had everybody selected, so I'm going to reselect these guys, remove their rotation, and then reselect 11 through 20 left click and hold, scroll down the align, click and drag, and there we go. Um, a few other tools that you have at your fingertips are up here. So right now I'm in the move option, which gives me these arrows. You can change to the rotate option that allows you to move everybody it's just like the rotation column or row here um, and I have this focus tool which is pretty cool 
If I bring my fixtures to full and have them selected, you'll see a little red ball. If I left click, it'll have my fixtures focus exactly to that point. Doing that also activates their information in the programmer, and now technically I could store this as a position preset. Down stage right. It's a pretty nifty tool. If I left click and hold and scroll up on the mouse wheel, it'll move that red ball higher and lower. In case I wanted to focus on an actor's face instead of their feet, I can use that tool. You have rendering settings here. This allows you to change your house lights basically with the point light color. You kind of have two options for that, front and back. Um, you have rendering settings for beam quality, depending on your graphics card, if you're going to use more resources or if you want to use less resources, you can choose the quality here. Same thing with these. So you can hone this in to get a nice uh, frame per second here.